Hey guys, what's going on? Miller here. A very Merry Christmas to all of you. Here is another quick update on my Lantinex at the moment. Um, the unit is near enough finished. The only thing that is missing off of these now is uh, the plan originally was to have uh, another three bases across the front with the pikes at charge. Um, I will still be doing that, but this uh, is a pretty much finished unit that I can use now. Uh, when I get round to having a game, it's going to be a very small game because it's only one unit or two if I decide to use the um, Arcbuzier wings uh, as they are. Uh, but pretty chuffed with it. Um, I'm going to stop the um, spinny thingy in a minute uh, and we'll have another quick closer look at it. Um, but yeah, really chuffed with it so far. Um, enjoying painting them. Hopefully, if I've uh, got enough um, sprues in the box, I should have another one of these done. But considering I started doing these again um, close to the start of November, and it's the end of December now, uh, it's going to take me a long time to just uh, finish making an army of these. Um, so it might be a case of the project goes on in the background. But I'm going to stop this here and show you a couple more things, and then uh, we'll carry on from there. So this is my first command stand of what will probably be quite a few. Um, it's a mix of the one of the metal commanders that come in the starter set and just a couple of the Javai handers. Um, really simple on a larger base. I think they're 50 mil round bases. Um, you get one uh, in the starter set that comes with the cannon on it. Don't ask me who the commander is. Haven't got a clue. Um, but I thought he was a pretty cool looking one. Um, I don't know what the little septum or uh, staff thing that he's got is. Pointy stick. Uh, I suppose it's for bashing people around the head when they ain't doing as they're told. But yeah, uh, got a few more command figures in there that I'll try and add in. To be fair, I think it would have been quite cool to have in the main um, pike block unit. But they're marching and he seems to be standing still. So the pike block would have marched past him, really, if he stayed in that pose. Um one more thing to show you, and then we'll go back towards the pipe block. So this is a little cannon thing called one of these. Can't remember the name, so I've just added it in here. Uh, again, comes in the starter set. Really cool little gun. Um, obviously, it's not a massive cannon. It's not going to cause a lot of sh um, damage to um, large infantry blocks, but would we'll definitely fire quite a hefty ball bearing or either a musket ball or a very small cannonball, that if it uh, caught a line of troops would definitely cause a lot of damage, um, if not just morale. Uh, seeing someone get hit by one of these would definitely cause um, a bad turn on someone's day and might make them think twice. But yeah, pretty cool. Um, again, put it on one of the 50 mil bases. That's out of the way. Ooh. Um very simple. I don't know how, but I managed to end up putting it off to the side on one of the bases. It fits in this guy's hands on the back. So I put him at a position and then it didn't quite fit in his hands. Bit of flock in his hand there. I don't know why I've managed to get that in there. Had a go at um, focusing on the turntable. Let's move you out of the way. Had a go at trying to put an ember on the end of the uh, lighting uh, stick. Someone put in the chat or in the comments a little while ago what that's actually called and I can't remember again. Should have read it. Uh, but yeah, pretty cool. Um, I've got some more stuff that was on my Christmas list to the family. So uh, like I said, I've got some more um, pikemen on the way with their pikes charged. And uh, hopefully a couple of cannons as well um, from Foundry. Let's see what they're like. Not done any of their figures before, so it should be quite nice to have a go. Um, I'd had these Arcabuziers done a little while ago. Uh, I just hadn't finished the basing. Got the basing finished last night or today, which is quite cool because my boy has suddenly decided he wants to start doing some um, painting with me. So wasn't going to turn him down. He's only six, so his painting skills aren't brilliant, but I think one day he'll probably put me to shame. Won't be hard. 
Come on. Focus on his face. What's it focusing on? Hello. There we go. Quite cool. Quite fun to make. I did mix in with some of these. Not on this one. It must be this one. Some of the uh, Perry's um, torso. So this torso here. Stop focusing on everything behind. This torso here on this fella here is the um, in the Perry's Mercenaries box. But it's the same as the Wars of the Roses um, bodies. Actually, this fella here as well. Oh, it keeps focusing on the flags behind. So these two here at the back are both from the Perry's. Uh, but they mix quite well. Um, these figures would always be good to use for the, um, the Swiss. Uh, if ever anybody was going to do the Swiss. And they'd scale up pretty well against the uh, uh, Warlords, Italian Wars stuff. Um, but yeah, again, just been doing the same stuff with these that I've been doing with the rest. Six at a go. Why does it keep focusing on something else? Hello. My hand's not that nice. Um, doing them in batches of six. And uh, it seems to make it a lot easier to do it that way. You don't seem to um, lose the fun of doing them. Uh, this was actually the, one of the last ones I did. I was struggling with the flags that I had left to choose which flag to use. So this is a Burgundian flag, uh, which the Burgundians were ended up being under control of the Holy Roman Empire by this time, and a bit of France, so they mix and match. Um, but yeah, it's focusing on this flag here for some reason. It likes that one. I'll move that out of the way for now. Again, uh, some of you might notice this figure uh, is one of the commanders from the Perry stuff. It allowed you to use, or recommends that you use a lot of the um, normal figures for commands and the flags or the flag carriers. But I don't really like the scale of the flag poles. I don't know if I've used one. Um, I think this one was one of the flagpoles uh, for the um, that came with it, and you can see it's not quite long enough for the flags. These are Pete's flags, and they're just that little bit too short the poles for the flags. So this is a Perry's flag, and then a couple of these are just steel flag poles. But yep, yeah, very cool. Giant pipe blocks. Nod to York, Yorkshire war gamer with his giant pipe blocks and uh hopefully one day i'll have an army if not half the size of one of his he did mention that he's never been um brave enough to do lynx necks or he's uh never been um silly enough to try and attempt them but i tell you what they're actually not so bad to do i don't i don't do um a lot of paint like other people so i don't do um, colours, washes and then highlights I paint really easy I colour, uh, colour, wash done, unless I'm really trying, especially on an army as big as these, it would just take too long um, but if you're into that sort of thing then go and check out some of the other guys that have done the Lunternets, like people like uh, Leon T66 channel and uh, Stee on Paint HQ, I'm sure you've seen them all before but theirs are they knock these off the table really um but yeah that's it for now on these um hope you all have a lovely christmas i don't know if i'll get anything up over christmas i mean i keep saying i'll try and get things up earlier and sooner but it's you know at least nearly three weeks between videos at the moment and it's just because these guys just take so long to paint uh, i've not really got much other than that to say but um have a great christmas have a happy new year and i'll see you all in the new year bye for now